Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about that elastic deformation thing. So where does it actually come from? Well, elastic deformation actually comes from how we, all those bonds, all those atoms, they're bonded together. When we apply a small load, well, all those bonds will stretch. The object gets longer under that force. And this is for metal atoms, that's why they're packed like this. And then when you unload it, well, it returns to its initial. So you can see that right here. We loaded it, it stretched, and then it went back again. All the deformation disappeared. Um, and in most metals, this is going to be linear. However, there are some cases where it can also be nonlinear and elastic. We are going to, however, avoid these kinds of situations. So all the stretching, it comes because the bonds are stretched. Now that might help you realize something, that the more stiff something is, well, the more tightly bonded it is. So something that is strongly bonded has a much larger modulus elasticity. Something that's weakly bonded has a smaller modulus elasticity. Because if we look at it right here, this is showing us the slope. The higher that slope, the greater um, our modulus elasticity. Because it takes more and more force to cause a change. It takes more and more force to cause a change. So for these, where it takes less force to cause a large deformation, well, they're not strongly bonded, and so we can stretch it a lot more easily. So this is all coming back to our energies. Once again, we are down to chapter six, and we're still referencing things we learned in chapter two, where we learned about this energy diagram. Sorry, force versus separation diagram. Um, so it's very, very important that you realize where these things are coming from, that you've looked into and you understand how to calculate those bond forces if you're given some sort of energy or force diagram um, and how they're all connected. So never forget that. These things that keep on coming back together, they're going to keep on connecting all the way through this class. But take your time and you'll get there. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.